So you played at Tulane. How did you decide to take your talents there? What was the deciding factor? Um, just the education of the school. Uh, it's a top 40 institution in uh, the United States, so that was kind of one of the big factors. And also, they were changing conferences from the Conference USA to either the Big 12 or the Big East, and then they end up forming their own conference, the American. So uh, that's really the major decision, just to be on a bigger platform, just to so a lot of people can see my game. In 2018, you go undrafted. What's going through your mind, and what are you thinking far as your next step at that time? Uh, to be honest, it wasn't really a shock to go undrafted. I mean, coming from Tulane, knowing I wasn't really on any draft boards the whole year, but I mean, I knew I could play. Uh, so that just kind of drove me to be, you know, to try to get to where I wanted to be at, because I knew I could play. I played against a lot of the guys that were getting drafted, and so I feel like I could do what they do or do something similar. So just having the belief in myself kind of propelled me to where I am right now. What did you learn most about yourself throughout that process and even to getting here as a two-way player for the Milwaukee Bucks and Wisconsin Herd? I just learned that, um, I mean, really, if I set my mind to something, I can do it. Uh, I can compete on any level um, as long, long as I have the work ethic and to try to just keep on going every single day, I can, I can play here. So that's what I learned about myself is I can do anything I put my mind to. And you, as this style of player, you guard many different positions. Who did you model or try to model your game after as a child and growing up? Uh, wasn't no one specific person, but I used to look at guys like uh, Tracy McGrady, uh, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Durant, and like LeBron James. They're always tall guys that can handle the ball, could play multiple positions, defend multiple positions. So those are kind of guys I kind of looked at all the time just to try to model my game after because they were just so versatile. Yeah, and you come from a family of basketball players. Your father, he's Northwestern State, all-time leading scorer over the last 40 years, up until two years ago. How has he prepared you for your journey? Uh, he just told me just to stay ready at all times. You know, just put yourself in a position to, to, to do great and whatever you do is just so you know, you don't have to work, worry about anybody else or count on anybody else. If you always have the work ethic, you know, everything will come to fruition. So just like when me going to Tulane, he was like, uh, you know, even though it's not a power five school, if you're playing basketball, someone's going to find you. And so just always just stay with the work ethic, stay to the grind and, you know, everything's going to come around full circle. And that happened for you and also your brother who went overseas. How did you make the decision to stay in the U.S. versus going overseas as your brother did? Um, I just had a different opportunity than he did. Uh, coming from the school that he went to, he didn't really get the, you know, the, the recognition. Uh, even though he was a good player, he didn't get the recognition because he came from a smaller school. So uh, just me by going to Tulane and on a little bigger conference, I got a different opportunity than he did. But I'm pretty sure if he got the same opportunities I did or went to a bigger school, I'm pretty sure that he would be in the same position because I just believe that he's that good of a player. You've been able to be around Coach Bud and just the atmosphere of the Milwaukee Bucks. What was it like being around him and being coached by him? Uh, it's great. Uh, I just hear uh, one of my old teammates, Jeff T, used to talk about him and just said that how great of a coach he was. And you really get to see, I mean, he has a respect, he respects you, and so you, you know, you respect him back. And he wants you to be great. He wants you to, to, to play your hardest, compete. Uh, be tough and that's all you want as a coach just to make sure you know when you're doing something wrong tell me so I can go and fix it and not just try to sugarcoat anything he's gonna tell you straight up and you go and fix it and then that's the only thing you can ask for as a, as a player to form a coach. And you have two coaches Chase being there um, as well when you were in Milwaukee what has your relationship grown into over the last few months of being with Chase as well? Uh, Chase is great you know he's always down to work work with you uh, you know, in the summertime, we just come back and get shots up all the time. Uh, on the road during preseason, he'll watch film with us uh, to, you know, try to make sure we maximize the opportunity on the court. You know, he's all in, and I, I think it's going to be a great season for us. After working with both of these guys, and he'll work with both of them throughout the season, where do you think your game will be most impactful? Uh, just my versatility, uh, being able to shoot the ball and guard multiple positions. I mean, that's kind of what I hang my hat on, and so I think that uh, if I just come in and uh, you know, be confident, shoot the ball, and then most most important, just guard. Uh, you know, whenever it's time, to even it's five, four, three, um, just to do it, do it to my best ability, and hopefully, it's, hopefully they like it. <laughs> what do you want the Wisconsin fans to know about you and who you are in your journey? Uh, I'm just a hard worker. Come from a small school. I wasn't a big time recruit, anything like that. So 
I'm all about hard work and ethic, and I just want to get wins. You know, uh, turn the turn the season around from last year, and just hopefully we can come back and win this championship in the G League, bring it bring it back home to Wisconsin. A lot of the current Wisconsin herd players could potentially look up to you just because of your ability to go back and forth between the parent team. Uh, what is a message that you want to send to them? The way I got here was just really just maximizing opportunity. Anthony Tolliver, my teammate in uh, Minnesota, just said whenever you get in the game, it doesn't matter if it's two minutes or ten minutes. You got to do whatever you got to do to you know stay on the court or not not be scared. Just have the confidence to do it, and so that kind of helped me through my whole journey. Just be confident. Um, you know they brought you here for a reason. They know what you can do. You don't try to do anything outside of your ability. Just go out there and do what you do to the best of your ability, and everything's gonna work out.